always been into Lego since like being a little kid. I can't even remember when I got my first set because I always had Lego uh, available to me. I like to say that I, I learned to build with bricks before I could walk. So um, it's, it's, yeah, it's been the big part of my childhood. Yeah, visiting each other and then we discovered that both of us had Lego on the shelves. Yeah. So, so we started yeah, bringing it home to each other when our girlfriends were meeting and then <laughs> so the girlfriends could talk about anything. Whatever they want to talk about. Yeah, exactly. And then we could <laughs> sit on the floor playing with Legos, Lego bricks. Yeah. Giving it life, making it react on itself, is, uh, I think that's what Mindstorms is all about. Um, giving it that extra level. So you build a model, it looks great, but you can actually make it do something by itself. Yeah, or even if you can move it by hand, and then if you introduce Mindstorms to that model, you can actually make it motorized. Meeting Lasse and Kenneth was very exciting because we both have this passion for robotics. We have a common interest of getting a, a broader understanding of automation and robot technology with a view from the industrial side and also from, from you say, from, from kids' eyes, from the Lego bricks. We have something that uh, some we think is, is a little bit unique and we, we want to follow that. I have always had this dream of making a robot in Lego bricks. The first time I'd like to do a static model, but uh, when I met Lars and Kenneth, they told me, well, we can do a robot, we'll do it with the six moving axes. These guys surprised me. They made the robot. Giving it the strength in the lowermost joint was, was very hard. Yeah. There's a lot of momentum in this joint. The gears themselves would bend like twists. So making the gears stronger and getting that strength in plastic uh, was a big challenge. I got the invitation for, for Kenneth and Lazarus to join the Lego world and there was something they would like to show me. When I just saw the, the IB120, I'm really impressed. It was pure joy, a dream come true, much more than I have uh, been thinking about because I was thinking for, for, for the static model in the beginning. I could see that uh, the industry needed an um, uh, understanding of how we could do um, engineering more simple and more effective. The engineering principles you use here is the exact same that, that is in the ABB robots. They're more stiffer, they're more perfect, they have lot, lots more precision, but the basics of it, the movements of it, the mechanics is, is very similar. It's uh, very important for me as a manager to work together with people who are passionate because in that way I know we can create, create new things together to give room for people to, to be that. This is all about showing what technology and science can be fun. It's not just big theory books. You can actually put it down on toys and play around with it and, and yeah, have fun with it. You could introduce this to kids uh, and, and make kids be impressed by, by robots is, is what we live for. In a world where everything is speed up, we need to create uh, room for, uh, for creativity. The spark in their the eyes. The spark in their eyes and just feel, oh, I can do this. So follow your passion, keep building. Have fun. <laughs> and have a bright future. <laughs> yeah. That's it.